guys how are you all doing i hope you are well so today's video is just going to be a general vlog it's a little bit of a sad worrying and stressful day luna's gone gone in for a speed operation we dropped her off at the vets this morning and me and sean are kind of just pacing around i was gonna try and like stay at home and do loads of work but being in the house without luna here i'm just like oh thinking of it so me and sean have decided we've got ready we're gonna head over to a place we heard of that apparently sells vegan ice cream and we're just gonna have like a nice chill afternoon now and try and just take my mind off the fact Luna's in hospital we're not due to here until like this evening so not really sure Henry is actually going to be staying at my mum's house for a few nights so she's going to pick him up from school and take him to hers for a few nights just because Luna really needs to recover obviously we want no accidents we don't want Henry accidentally lying on her or anything like that and we just thought it would be best that he had a few nights staying at my mum's just so Luna can have the best few days and set her up for the best full recovery so that's what we're planning to do so yeah, I've just got a little kind of summery outfit on. I've got this beach shirt on that I got from Primark, but I've tied it with my little vest top also from Primark. These trousers, which honestly I absolutely love them. They're a really soft cotton material and they have like a black and white pattern on them. Now, I can't tell you where they're from because my nana keeps buying them from somewhere and she doesn't know where and then she doesn't like them. So she gives them to me. So I have like this pair and a stripey pair, which I absolutely love. They've got no label on them. So I don't know where the hell nana's getting them from, but I really like them. And then I just have these gladiator style sandals on which i got from primark which i love and then i also have this little dainty necklace on which is from new look which again i love so yeah i'm dressed in a full new outfit bar the trousers today i my mind off things a bit because i think there's nothing worse when you're in the house you're constantly thinking about it um and yeah we obviously want to try and take our minds off it so we're gonna head out hopefully get vegan mr whitby i'm so excited i heard of this place that's meant to do vegan mr whitby and my mind is set on a vegan mr whitby and i'll be really disappointed if they don't have it so it's not far from where we live about 30 minutes we're just gonna have a drive go there maybe go to starbucks because i'm sure we'll pass the starbucks and i really would like a starbucks but yeah very excited just gonna chill so we're just in the car now i feel like i'm really squinting because it's quite bright today i'm gonna put these on i look like a big giant bee anyway these are just the ones i got my latest primark haul but i quite like them cute um but yeah we're just in the car now we're gonna go to starbucks first and then i've just rang the ice cream place and they said they don't do a vegan mr whitby but they do a vegan vanilla ice cream so i get, think that's as good as i'm gonna get but if anyone's from the northeast and you know anywhere that does a vegan mr whitby can you tell us because i'm really craving the consistency and like creaminess of a mr whitby and i have been for a long time but yeah i just don't know if it exists anywhere in the northeast i probably can get it in london but i don't think you can here yet and sean's just driving with <laughs> are you gonna get something from starbucks coffee no we can't get the ice cream first because it's oh like well sure. change your plan we're going to starbucks first because i really want to try the beyond meat burger that they do um and obviously i would rather have that before the ice cream so i can't bring sean <laughs> so yeah we're gonna go starbucks first and then hopefully get the ice cream and hopefully if it stays nice we can sit near the beach but i've got a feeling it's going to be heaving so well i'm in a right huff because they haven't got the burger it's literally 20 to 12 it's literally going on lunchtime and they've got no vegan options and they only just released it not long ago and they were like oh it's, it's there but they've sold out of it so i'm really annoyed anyway i'm getting an ice latte and hopefully the ice cream will be nice okay guys so we're at south shields because this is where the vegan ice cream is it's called michella and co and they have a fun fair which i used to come out all the time when i was younger and i'm getting proper nostalgic what's that word tone this is an empr car park you have to pay what can i pay what can I? yeah well i think so but if not i've got the parking app so that may mm -hmm. work oh. but i'd have to put your red in, so if you can pay well, cash it would be better um what's that word is it nostalgic you know when something brings back memories? Is that the word? Nostalgic? Anyway, I'm getting proper nostalgic feeling because the fun fair here, I used to go to all the time when I was younger. And I knew it was on South Shields, but I didn't know it was like, yeah, I thought it was in a different place. Anyway, we've just passed it and it just makes us really excited. And it's open. I really didn't think fun fairs were open, but they are. And I said to Sean, can we go in? And he was like, yeah, but we're not going on any rides. But I think we might get one or two rides. <laughs> Just little ones, but Sean doesn't like fun fairs that aren't like throw park because this is his snobby side. But he just no, it is, it's not like it you. is because you'll only go to like Thorpe Park, Alton Towers, oh, yeah. Florida, Florida. <laughs> I the same that 
Florida, I like the big ones. He doesn't really like little ones, but I personally went to them all the time and I love them. So hopefully we will get him one or two rides. Just the baby ones. You don't have to poop your pants today. But I'm actually really excited. This is just like what we needed today. I take my mind off Luna. Yeah, I really wish though the pups were here because there's a gorgeous beach which they would love. So we'll have to bring them back once she's recovered because it's beautiful. But let's go and get some ice cream! Guys, how beautiful is this beach? I never honestly knew how beautiful South Shields was. I didn't think it was this gorgeous. Like, it's honestly such a beautiful area. I think they've like done it out and stuff. But anyway, yeah, we're just gonna. What? This way. Sean's got his caramel. Is it good? Nice. Yeah. Is it really nice? It's like a soft ice cream. Well, just like my ice cream. Yeah, I hope <laughs> mine's like, like good ice cream. Caramel. Passes the test. <laughs> I hope mine does. Sean said it's nice. I don't know if you can see it because the sun's this way. So I'll just vlog here a minute. But this is what it looks like. I'm actually really excited. This is like an oat one. Oh, it is creamy. It is like got a... um. Sauce is dripping. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Whoa, it's side. Demi, it's on you, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> On you. Right, well, I'll clean it up. I'm gonna go to the seating area. So we're just sitting down. Um, honestly, guys, this ice cream is actually unreal. I was whinging on before. Oh, it's not Mr. Whitby, but it's really creamy, so it's made with oat. Um, so it's mm -hmm. Well, I know, Sean, man, but you're, you're not helping going on like that. They've got a vegan flake, which I was like, what? Mm. Raspberry sauce as well. I've not had that in years. So we've finished the ice cream. Mine was honestly so nice. I sent it short. I'm probably going to get one before we go home. Going to get a second. Was yours nice? Yeah, it was nice. It was a lush ice cream. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. We're going to have a walk. I think we're going to go over at the fun fair now when I plan on getting chips and candy floss. Like I'm going all out today. I'm really just like living my childhood vibes. It's such a nice day. It's a bit chilly, but it is nice. There's not like loads of people around, but there's like a nice amount, isn't there? Yeah, it's not that well, it might be busy there. Like. Yeah, the fun time might be, but it's an actually it's a weekday though, so it might not be as as well. But yeah, me and Sean are just gonna chill, spend the day here, and then hopefully, yeah, good news that Luna's ready to be picked up. Guys, look at that cafe. It is platform thirty three. It's like a cafe. I don't think it's open, obviously, because you're not out sitting yet. But it looks so American. Like I love the vibe of it. It looks so cool. I really love that with the little palm trees and everything because it's a sunny day it just looks like lush i never knew i liked south shields as much as i do to be honest then even in the front it's got like a little train like a mimic train i love it i feel like this is a holiday vlog and we're in south shields and i feel like it's a holiday vlog <laughs> love that we're approaching the fun fair how exciting we've actually just passed the burger van as well and they've got such a like smell about them oh god how exciting are you excited to go on the rides you're gonna have a good day she's like no hate this i'm not in florida we're in guys i'm sure i went on that water ride as a kid thinking it was absolutely huge wraps, candy floss yorkshire pudding wraps sean's like i sit on that do you oh i just get so excited i could eat look at that olivia's fresh coffee donuts ice cream and waffles Guys, the amount of people here, like it just seems like normality. Like it's so weird, isn't it? I actually feel like, I feel like it shouldn't be. <laughs> it feels wrong because like obviously we've been locked up for like a year and you don't have to wear a mask because it's outside, which is nice. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna have a look around. I'm in my element, I feel like a right kid. Sean, guys isn't going on any rides and I feel really upset about it. <laughs> And now I'm debating do I get tickets and go on a few by myself because I really want to go on the claw Look at the claw going. That's not for kids Sean. You see how high it is Kids would not go on that it's full of kids. No, there's a big there's an old man on there. Well not old but like a man I really want to go on the claw and I would actually like go on a few rides and Sean's like I'm not going on rides So I'm debating now do I buy a few tickets and go on by myself? Would you not even go on the like little roller coaster thing? Oh, especially on that. Why? You're gonna go on now. If there was no, one thing you'd go on, what I'm would you go on? Because he doesn't like these these um, no, theme parks. He, that's what his problem is. Is because he's not in Florida. You're a snob. 
Well, I think I'm gonna get some tickets and go on something. I feel like I can't just walk through without going on at least one ride. I feel stupid going on by myself though. Well, I think I'll just drown my sorrows since we're not going on any rides by candy floss and chips and walk around. Okay, so I bought a card and I'm gonna go on the claw by myself because Mr. Grumpy won't come on. It was £4.50 but it's gonna be worth the £4.50. But I have to wait because I don't like going on by myself in case they set it off and I'm the only one on the ride. I would be extremely embarrassed. So I'm gonna hop and wait till like there's a few people on. Then I'll go on. Probably going on with loads of 12 year olds, but that's all right. I, look in, I can really like look young if I try. on there looks like she's a uh, wet ass out there Guys, I'm gonna get a bag of candy floss and some chips, and Sean's gonna get. Oh, I knew you would. You've got, you've got a take off, but not on the rides. You just let me go on myself. Team player. Oh yeah, team player. Okay, hey, guys, so we're just sitting on a bit of grass. I've got a bag of candy floss, a bottle of water, and I got some chips for curry. There's Sean's Yorkshire pudding wrap. Are you excited about that? Looks quite good. Go on, then give her a bite test. See what you think. Got pork, stuffing, veg. They're good. You like? Looks quite nice. Yeah? We're just walking along the like beachfront thing, having a wonder. It's like sand, eh? <laughs> you don't like sand, do you? Well, it'll just be all over, won't it? Yeah, no. We're not really going to go like on the beach, beach to be really sandy. But yeah, we're just having a. Wonder along. Guys, look at how beautiful the beach is. It's honestly stunning. The only thing is, is it's not like a Spanish beach because it's freezing. <laughs> she like shivering. <laughs> but it's so beautiful. We're not going to go on because Sean doesn't like sand either. Can you tell he's right fussy? It's so just kind of rain. It's my call. True. I, I do agree with that. So, just yeah. But what do you think about Yorkshire pudding wrap, Sean? Because <laughs> it wasn't from MS. If it was wrapped in MS wrapping, you'd like it. He said it was frozen. Fish you are? Fish it out of my loom. What do you mean? Suss it out. Yeah. The veg was rubbish. It just didn't taste very nice. And who did you rec recently follow on Instagram? <laughs> He didn't know they had a food Instagram. Gonna be tagging them in your post. Gonna be like, look at this, MS. Do you want them to sponsor you? <laughs> your first, but imagine if your first sponsor was MS food, you'd be buzzing. <laughs> She's close your food. I wanted 
this like really cute montage and I was like Sean take like a montage of Scorpion I'll try and like edit it so it looks really good and I don't look like a dick but it really feels like how do people do it because I just felt like a right dickhead there I was just like what do you do like try and look cute but like what? What are you going to do on this? Okay, so we're back in the car. I feel very beachy with this shirt on. Thank you. Oh God, got me candy floss for later. Still not heard from the vet. So they said if it gets to three o'clock to ring them because sometimes if emergencies have come in, they don't have a chance to ring. So I'll probably ring at three o'clock and just see what the update is on her. Yeah, right. And then she said we should then have a better idea and give you like an estimated time to pick our own. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's a nice day really isn't it? Unexpected. I find some days though when you don't plan things and you just unexpectedly do things to turn out better. Have you not, have you not had a good day? Aye. Well why didn't you answer? Well it just does happen. It does? Aye. Well I know that's all you have to say darling. I know. <laughs> Agree. Agree. Do you want a sex on words? Keep my wrong. Do you want a sex? Um, I'm not going to get an ice cream because I actually feel full. Ice cream, that like Sean, just... Sean was like at first, I like the wrap, yeah, it's nice. Yeah. And then as well, I sit and I went, it's like frozen food. Well, it was, it was just pretty rubbish, like. God, what's he like? Um, mine, I just got the chips and curry yeah. and it was nice. Very yeah, like. But I said to Sean, he never picks a simple option. You never. Well, that, that, that is the new thing. It's what you want. Yeah, but it's always the like And it's thing. quite healthy as well. Well, it wasn't it probably isn't healthy, but like, it's uh, mm. I, was, I was gonna get a burger, but they were sitting there in a big pile. Yeah, they looked like so, they'd been there ages. Oh, they were like then, so they're, no. <laughs> mm. You're not gonna get much, are you? Good. No, at them places, they're more just for like you overpriced pay just for them, don't you? Aye. But yeah, what we're gonna do, go for a little drive. Yeah. We're just probably going to go for a little drive now, but if you are vegan and want a vegan ice cream, then what was it called? Michelin's or Michikans? Anyway, it was very satisfying and I was craving Mr. Whitby, but that satisfied. It was creamy and nice. Yeah. And nice flake. I thought it was lush, like. I'm not having an ice cream. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> not like from a shop. Yeah. No, I would come back just for that, like it was lush. We said once once mm. Luna's better and obviously we get a nice day, we're gonna bring the pups, yeah? Because there's like a beach, there's a park which looks beautiful. You can actually take them in the fun fair, but I wouldn't go on any rides. But they could have a little look, investigate what a fun fair's like. So I remember years ago when I came here with my mum, um my family dog, which wasn't Dolly, I had a one before Dolly called Jessie, who was like a mongrel, she was beautiful, wasn't she? She was like she actually same colour as Henry. Yeah. She she had a dark face like Henry and she was brindle like Henry and I don't think she was as ginger as Henry. I think she was more brown. But she was like uh, chub yeah. chubby yeah. and like had quite a bit of fur. She was like thick. Well, I loved her so much. Anyway, she um came there with her once, bless her, and she really liked it. Well I think she liked it. I can't remember I was quite young but I remember taking her there. So yeah, we're probably just going to go for a little drive um, and just kind of wait for the call, really. Right. But I'm glad we came here because in the house I was feeling a bit like shit, just down no, with you. Because it's just that waiting, I feel like because we're in the house and that's where we always are with the pups. I was just waiting and waiting and waiting. Uh, but we haven't had a call to say that like she couldn't have the operation, so I think it's gone ahead because I paid for pre-blood tests to check that like all of her organs and everything are okay because she's never had like anaesthetic or anything before. So I paid for that and they said if there was any problems, they'd ring one. We've not heard anything. So I'm presuming it was all fine and they've gone ahead with it. So yeah, now it's just the waiting to find out that it's been done and she's okay and she's come around and stuff like that. Um, so we're just chilling, but probably going to go for a little drive and just kill a bit more time and yeah. Mm -hmm. So we just heard from the vet and Luna's operation went okay and they're really happy with the way she's recovering, which is really good. So that's um, exciting news and I'm glad we've heard now. But we've got to pick her up at half four, so we've still got like two hours before we have to pick her up. But I'm going to get a little bag of stuff ready um, and take it to my mum's for Henry. So um, just his bed and stuff, just drop them off at my mum's. And then at least he has some of his stuff from home because I think he's going to stay there two nights. Just so that he doesn't know why Luna's not playing. Because for him, obviously, he'll think, well, why is Luna not playing? And obviously, we want her to get as much rest as she needs. So, yeah, but we're just heading home now and then we're going to get his stuff ready. Hi guys, so it is currently... Hi y'all! You've just woke up. It wasn't me. Sean, stop. She's trying to rest. Oh, I don't know what's going on. Oh, I'm just going to get a little bit of 
Someone's being a silly twat. <laughs> so it is the next day now and Luna is at home recovering. You can see her in the corner there and Sean's just being a dick. <laughs> anyway, so yesterday when we brought her home, she was okay to be honest, quite sleepy, slept a lot. She did eat some chicken, but then when we put her out of bed, she did throw it off. I slept in the crate with her because <laughs> Sean wouldn't go in the spare room. No, I just thought like she felt more comfortable in her bed and I didn't want to bring her onto the main bed and then she like jumped down and like hurt her stomach or something so I decided to sleep in the crate with her and honestly it wasn't like too bad but she was up quite a lot of the night crying. Um, I don't know if she was actually like in pain or if she was missing Henry or what she was actually crying for but when I like cuddled into her and that she would like settle down. This morning she's been okay really, she's ate her food, she's played a little bit with her toys, she's been in the garden and had ways although she hasn't had a poo yet but she did have a poo yesterday. Sorry this is TMI but I'm just giving you the full deets. Henry's thriving at me mams, he's been at the beach with Dolly today like he's having the best time, he's on like a little two day holiday him. He's coming back home on Friday so by the time you watch this video friday night he will be home but yeah luna's doing not too bad her scar looks really red um obviously i don't want to disturb her because she is having a rest but it does look really red the vet said that we could take her on little walks from today um and they also give us some more eye drops as well because they said that behind her eye was still a little bit inflamed so they've given her a prescription of eye drops but yes yeah, so i think we're going to take her for a walk later on maybe see how she is because the vet said we could take her on like 15 minute ones if we felt like she was up to it but if she was still dead tired and sleepy then to maybe leave her so we're just going to see how she is but i'm just going to edit some videos now and hopefully get friday's video edited and monday video edited but yeah this was just kind of a more chill vlog i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and we'll see you very shortly for another one bye